Now, under settings discussion, it's quite an important one. And this is how we handle um, who, can, who can make comments on your site um, and, in, and in, what, in what manner they are allowed to make comments. Okay. It also deals with permalinks and things like that from other sites. Now, your default, this is pretty much the default. And that basically um, allow link notifications from other blogs. Now, pingbacks and trackbacks are basically when another blog carries your content and links to your website. Okay, um, those, both of those should be ticked, the uh, allow people to post comments on new articles. Um, you can override that if you like uh, for individual posts in the post section, but I'll just leave that as it is. Um, the same with other comment settings, that the comment author must fill it out their name and email to make a comment. And you can read through the rest of those, but it's all pretty basic. Um, now, the, under settings, the email address that's stored there, anyone posts a comment, it sends them you a notification, or a comment is held for moderation. Uh, now, here's some important things. Before a comment appears, the comment author must have a previously approved comment. I mean, you do get a lot of spam with, with WordPress, and you don't want to just allow um, comments just to come through. So, um, and, and it's a bad idea to um, make every single comment that it has to be held for moderation. I mean, some people do that and it just creates a management nightmare. And you've got to think that if you make a comment on a website and you've made a previous comment and it's been approved, that you shouldn't have to wait, you know, days for, for that comment to appear. And that's what happens when people make every single comment um, moderated. Uh, so it's not a good idea. Um, it's actually really bad for business. So all have this have this one ticked. So that basically means that the first comment the person makes on your website, you moderate it and you say, okay, I want to approve this comment. And if they make any more comments, they don't need a, a, approval. And that's the best way to manage these websites. Now, for moderation, is if uh, a lot of the spam has lots of links within the comments. So if the comment has more than two links in it, it'll hold it for moderation and that will override any of the other settings. So that just just make sure that people don't um, make comments that uh, um, that have lots of links in them and usually that's spam anyway. Now the comment blacklist, you can put a, a, a URL, an email or an IP address. So if you're not happy with somebody who's made a comment before, you can actually put their IP address and you'll see their IP address appear in, in previous comments and or then uh, their name their, or, or their email. Okay, And you can make sure that that never happens again. Uh, for the avatars, that's a little image that appears next to someone's comments. Now, if you've got your it set up correctly, you'll see the person's photo. Uh, if they've set it up correctly, you'll see the person's photo, and that appears, and that's from gravatar.com where those uh, images appear. Uh, G is always the best one, basic settings. All of these should just basically remain the same. So that's the discussion settings. Take some time to read the help file for the discussion sessions um, and, and learn and learn some uh, some things about it. But it's out of the box, it's pretty much how it should be. Uh, the only things you might want to do is, is blacklist certain, certain IP address, especially if that IP address, you're getting lots of spam from it, you can just blacklist it and they don't even get to comment at all. Okay.